I'm going to show you how to change the layout of the Unity interface. This again is the 2x3 layout and there uh, are several different default ones here that you can use. Uh, a lot of times though we like to change this around depending on what we're doing. So I, my personal preference uh, is to have our hierarchy and our project panel kind of stacked on top of each other. Uh, so I like my project panel on top. You can change any of these by grabbing the tab. So if I want to move where the hierarchy is, I just click and hold, left mouse button, click hold on hierarchy, and I can pull that tab off. And then I can drop it wherever I want. So if I move it down towards the bottom here, it snaps in at the bottom of the column where the project panel is. I can let go of my mouse button, and now it has moved that down here to the bottom. Now I can change how much space each of these takes up too by going in between two panels. I get my uh, double headed arrow, click the left mouse button down and hold and I can drag that bigger or smaller. So I tend to split the difference here. Uh, you can also go in between the inspector. You know, you can change this column bigger or smaller. So I tend to leave that uh, pulled over to the side a little bit. And we want to leave lots of space over here for our scene view and our game view. Uh, sometimes you like to have these split apart from each other like it is now. Other times we can collapse them. Uh, so I could take the game tab, click and hold my left mouse button, pull that up here to where I get the tab and drop it and then that would cause the game and the scene view to share this whole big window and I just flip between them using the tab. So it depends on what you're doing at the time. I think for now we'll grab that game tab and drop it back down here on the bottom again uh, so that we can see our scene and also see what the camera sees in the game as we're developing in here. So again, anything that you want to move, if you click and hold left mouse button down on any of the little tabs, it allows you to pull those off and uh, put them somewhere else. As a matter of fact, you could even pull the tab off and drop it off the actual window and have it in its own little window off to the side. So if you have a lot of screen space and you need a little more room, then uh, sometimes you can do that as well. But I tend to like to keep it all kind of self-contained here so that uh, it's all together and I can move everything as one window. That's how you uh, customize your game space. Once you get something that you like so that you don't have to do this every time you open up Unity, you can save it. If I go up here to the top right corner where it says 2 by 3 and click it, click it uh, there, I can go to Save Layout. So I'm going to click Save Layout. It asks me for a name. I'm going to call this my uh, Custom Default Layout. And I'm going to click Save. And now you see it says Custom Default up here. If I click the arrow, Custom default is now in my list, so anytime I want this layout, I can go in here and change it. So if I switch it to a different one, like the 2x3, and then I go back and click default, and here's my layout that I just set up all ready for me to go, uh, and we're good to go on to the next part, which is going to be actually making some simple primitive game objects and uh, showing you how to manipulate and position those in your scene view.